Today I'm going to show you how to make this strawberry cake with beautiful little roses all over it. Super cute and wonderful for a special occasion. Let's get started. We're starting off by sifting our dry ingredients. One and two thirds cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon baking soda, and like a generous pinch of salt. Sift it up. One cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna give it a really quick whisk and then just set aside. Now for the wet ingredients. One half cup of sour cream, quarter cup of warm milk, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, quarter cup of strained and warmed strawberry preserves. Just whisking it so it gets a head start. Now three egg whites. This isn't like making a meringue where you're gonna be really upset if the yolk gets in because it's ruined. It's okay, it's really just for the color. Otherwise, I'd add the yolks in, no problem. Now I'm adding in three quarters of a cup of almost melted butter. I'm gonna zest most of a lemon. Give it a quick mix and we'll set aside as well. Now we're ready to add the wet mixture into the dry mixture and just whisk it up until it's combined. You could also do this in a standing mixer or with an electric mixer. Okay, really well mixed and I can smell a little bit of strawberry and vanilla, which is amazing. But if you take a look, the color is a little bit gray and sad. That's natural colors for you sometimes. They don't act as vibrantly as you might like. So we're gonna add a tiny bit of soft pink food coloring just to help the process along. Okay, so now I have a nice soft pink <laughs> and it'll be a little bit softer after baking too. So if your eyes are hurting, don't worry. Before I add the batter into the pans, I'm gonna prep them by buttering them and adding a tablespoon of flour, which I'm just gonna shake around to coat them. And they'll be perfect. No need for any papers or anything else. Tap out the excess into the pan. I'm adding my batter now, and I am using a kitchen scale just so I can make sure each layer is exactly the same because I'm horrible at eyeballing this sort of thing. Recipe makes just enough batter for three six inch pans, so double it if you're using eight inches, triple it if you're using nine inches. Before I toss these into the oven at 340 for a little while, I'm gonna add cake strips to the pans. These are gonna give me a nice even bake and make sure the cake is nice and flat with no doming. I'm popping this into the oven for about half an hour or until the centers are nice and springy and the edges are just pulling away from the pan. So we're gonna whip up a small batch of American buttercream and give it some strawberry flavor too. It's gonna to be delicious. Starting off with two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature into a standing mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. You can add a healthy pinch of salt and then let it mix up a bit. Now we're adding in about a pound of confectioner sugar. Cover with a tea towel and mix on low. We're gonna scrape the bowl down and then add the flavorings. I'm using a couple squeezes of lemon juice and a tablespoon of strained strawberry preserves. Okay, we're all done. I love this color, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this beautiful, soft blush that's totally natural just from the strawberries we added. The cakes are out of the oven and I want you to take a look and see that they're just pulling away from the sides so you know that they're done and they're a little bit springy. Let's pop them out and hope that they release nicely. I'm piping my strawberry buttercream onto the first layer. Add your second layer, pipe some more buttercream on. And now we're gonna give it a paper thin coating of buttercream, which will be our crumb coat. This will just seal all the crumbs in and give you a really nice, perfectly shaped base to ice. Now I'm piping on my last layer of vanilla buttercream. I use an offset spatula and pull in while turning to get those corners straight. And my bench scraper to smooth the sides. If you're having any difficulties smoothing your buttercream, I always recommend dipping your tools in really hot water, giving them a quick wipe, and then use them right away. That heat will help melt the buttercream and smooth things out. To paint my roses, I'm using a pale pink buttercream and then applying it with a palette knife for the back petals. For the anthers, I'm using a yellow buttercream and I just cut the piping bag at the very tip so I can squeeze out little strands. For the petals in front, I'm using a 61 tip. I really thought this was the easiest way, although you could just use a palette knife for the whole thing. To pipe the stems, I'm using a pale green buttercream and you can use a small round tip or just cut the tip off of a piping bag for this part. I also did some tiny buds with just little smidges of buttercream because I wanted to have some blooming flowers and some buds 
and I actually used two different colors. One's pale pink and one's a nice peach. They complemented each other well. And for the leaves, I'm using a 349 tip. It's amazing what a little buttercream and a palette knife can make. I'm so happy with the way these roses came out. I will definitely be trying this technique again soon. Also, the strawberry cake tastes delicious. Hope you get to make this soon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.